It's a growing form of identity theft, and it's shockingly simple. Change of address fraud. Only on 5, Julie Watts discovered that the problem may be much bigger than the U.S. Postal Service has been willing to admit. Your address. A few digits and a street name holds a key to your identity. And with a stroke of a pen, that key can end up in the wrong hands. Just ask Frank and Rebecca Ronquillo. Um, they need to do a better job of protecting our mail. It wasn't until they discovered someone had forwarded their mail to a new address without their knowledge that the Ronquillos learned of a growing form of ID theft. It's got to be stopped. It begins when a crook fills out a change of address form from the post office, rerouting your mail to a P.O. box or address of their choice. Can you tell me where it's being sent? No, we can't. And I'm like, seriously? In Frank's case, along with his forwarded mail, the crooks got his Medicare card, complete with his social security number. And with that, they tried to steal his identity, attempting to open up a credit card. What surprised me the most was how easy it was to change an address. Donna Henry discovered her address had been changed when the gas pump declined her credit card for entering the wrong zip code. And when she called the credit card company to straighten it out, she discovered it was easier for someone else to change her address than it was for her to change it back. And they wouldn't change the address on my word, yet the post office could do it. At issue, a weakness in the post office's change of address process. All it takes is an address and a forged signature to reroute someone's mail, which a 2008 audit by the Inspector General's office concluded, if left unmitigated, could contribute to identity theft. Now, nearly a decade later, KPIX has learned that problem is widespread. The Postal Inspection Service claimed it received only 750 reports annually of possible fraud nationwide. But following a Freedom of Information Act request, the agency now admits to us it's actually received more than 17,000 complaints over the past year alone, and the U.S. Postal Service got tens of thousands more. Those are federal offenses. Postal Inspector Jeff Fitch says the agency is currently investigating dozens of these complaints in Northern California. Here in San Francisco, in the San Jose area, and also in the East Bay. People fraudulently, scammers, changing other people's addresses. That's correct. He says there are some safeguards in place to help prevent this kind of fraud. For instance, they require a credit card with a matching address to change an address online, but no ID is required to fill out a hard copy change of address form and pop it in the mail. They also send a change of address notification to both the old and new addresses, but crooks can get around that with another form that puts mail delivery to the old address on a vacation hold. Really, anybody can change my address by simply filling out a form. What's being done to prevent it? Well, again, we're constantly assessing security and that's being looked at. In a statement, the Postal Service tells us it is continuously implementing security enhancements, though not seen by the general public, to enhance the security of our change of address process. I think without ID, you shouldn't just automatically send the mail. It's, it's crazy. For people like Donna and the Ronquillos, requiring an ID for an address change seems like an obvious solution. And in the meantime, they want to warn you. Nobody's safe. Nobody's mail is safe. Now, the postal inspector tells us the bad guys already know about this scam, so it is important that we educate you, too. Be on the lookout for a decrease in your mail. You may still get some after it's forwarded and report fraud immediately to the postal inspector. You'll find more information at KPIX.com. Well, it's also worth noting, even if one person's mail has been forwarded, other people in the household may still be getting theirs, which may make it harder to realize there's actually a problem.